What's up? We got deck fall number three, Dark Worlds again. Ginger Kid with pink shirt. Yeah. Hurry up. Yes, if you're ready. Yeah. Is that anything? Yeah. Obvious free grapha. <laughs> Pretty standard. Free snow. Your snow was a dick. Three. I can't remember this card's name because it's upside down. Brow. <laughs> Those brows are ugly. Yeah, these two ugly ass Silvas. The Those Silvas are. The Silvas. Silvas. You should, you should play rares. This card is amazing. Just saying. You should play rares. The beige that my teammate almost cut. I had to tell her to play it because it was awesome. Two tour guides. She plays standard. everything completely different. Yeah. But she wins with it. Two tour guides. Did she? Did Pretty. you get your? Did you get your knights invite, Bart? No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I started two zero and I played against freaking Watts <coughs> in this this bullcrap. Lost to Watts, then I lost to Scraps, and I got two zero by one just because I didn't draw any discard outlets, and it just, I had bad luck all day. It is whatever. Uh, tutorial got pretty standard for this deck. And this is my tech for the deck. It's Fabled Raven. Like, uh, my teammate, she doesn't like it because it makes their uh, uh, their Veilers more alive. But this card just gets really explosive. And, like, when you play against, like, the stupid Sam matchup, like, you need a way to deal with. Who okay, cares? Sam's are for Quares. Yeah, just one last So is Dark Worlds, except for Abby. Yeah. Abby's a girl. She, she's allowed to play whatever she wants. All this, the guys were like, oh my god, it's a girl. This card was awesome all day. Just so explosive. Just like pitch brow, pitch silver. It's get super pluses off of it, and it becomes a 2100 beater. Like, trance and it's is pretty. A and it's prettier than trance. And it's prettier than twan trance. Twance. Twance. <laughs> it's like Michael Ward for all you uh, magic players. You understand what I'm talking about. Uh, three gates. Obvious. Two drag down, it's obvious. Three up starts. Fuck his damn card. Like, when I played my Ultras earlier in the day, I freaking did not draw them hardly ever. And then I got supers from Turbo Pack and drew them like nobody's business. Like, just could not stop drawing them. So, if you're playing Dark Worlds, get super up starts. It's a good choice. The two dealings. I don't play the third because I played the Raven. So it's like <clears throat> totally dead to play there. I might test three and maybe try to get go down on the upstarts, but for the tournament, I only like two. Uh, Monster Born, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Card Destruction, pretty standard. Uh, I played two DBB instead of one because I felt like the entire format uh, is like wind up studios and agents and like and Mermels. Mermels, especially. And uh, Macro Rabbit, there's only like one or two matchups that you don't want that in. So if eight of my ten matchups that Abby I play, and Abby I'm, never played good matchups for it. If I play nine rounds of Swiss, eight to nine rounds of Swiss in the regionals, and six of those are getting demolished by a DVB, I'm more than happy with playing that card. Especially when it's a card that when it resolves, they're probably not going to win. Uh, two torrential card was awesome. You know it's. Too good not to play, in my opinion, with this deck. Double Compulse. Uh, all day, card was great. I, I play uh, every day. <laughs> all day, every day. Like, card was amazing. Told I you play three. Up, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, like, round five. Round five or six. Played against, um, oh, what was it? The Mirror. And my opponent, like, torrential with my board. And I have a card destruction in my hand with only a one brow. And I uh, use my gates effect to uh, get out a uh, Silva, a torrential on my board, and I just compulse back my Graffa, and then just card destruction and just like clear his board, draw snow, draw Graffa, or draw gates, and just explode from there. It was stupid. Uh, card is awesome, and especially with Bowser Tour guys. It's really really good too. My crush, same reason DDB. Every why are they not hollow? Because we don't find any. I found, I found CP Luminous, I found a million Turbo Pack cards, and I did not find a single Ultra or Super effing Mind Crush. Not one. And three stupid common Reckless Grease, because those didn't exist for me either. Pretty sad. Yeah. It's Dark Worlds. YouTube's gonna get tired of seeing Dark Worlds after a while. I know, right? Uh, Heliopolis made it a couple times, like, this was irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Never made it. This, yeah.
This guy's awesome. He goes under gates, he becomes a 3400 beater. And like, he's bigger than Acid Golem, and he doesn't kill you with that gaze on board. So he just really, really pursue a lot of damage over big beaters. He has really a guitar. Good. And he has a guitar, apparently. Cause... Yeah, I mean, killing Hyperions and not killing myself the next turn is really good. So I hear. I made this card like twice. The Ghost of Phoenix. I made this card like <laughs> two damn times all day. Like, it's good, I guess. Love your Robin. <coughs> Robin's amazing. <laughs> I uh, made it against windups, and it was the only time I ever made it. But it ended up uh, uh, netting me some advantage off of his uh, Zen Mighty. Uh, still lost that game though, because he ripped a rat uh, the next turn, and then his next draw was Pot of Avarice into Rat Factory. I was like, or not Rat Factory, um, what was it? It was uh, Rat Call of the Haunted for the next turn. I was like, you are better than me, bro. Uh, it's in me. It's pretty standard. And then because I play Fabled Raven, it's a tuner that started as Black Rose. Nobody plays Synchros except for me. Nobody's cool enough to play Synchros. It's because you're playing Agents. <laughs> the Wolf Egg Bayer, the Cyborg. Uh, wow. Card is really, yeah. really good right now. <clears throat> uh, every matchup that this card goes in against. Um, is not playing macro, basically. Like, I don't bring it against Dino Rabbit because it only hits that one rabbit or the one lone tour guide every once in a while. And they're gonna keep in their macros against me. So I'd rather just like bring it against like uh, agents and windups where if they don't have the face up removal graveyard, then I'm winning anyway. And if uh, then it allows me to play the Veilor to stop their plays. If they have it up, then I'm losing no matter what, if I have a dead Veilor in my hand or not, because the card that's not out, it's still going to be dead. Uh, two Thunder King, it's way too good. Mm -hmm. uh, the dude that I played with Dark Worlds and uh, Swiss, he was maining it. Yeah. He summons it turn one, I was like, uh, because I didn't know he was playing Dark Worlds. And I was trying to get rid of it, and all of a sudden he's just like dragged out. I was like, uh oh. Yeah, I, I wish I, won, I wish I could make it, but just like I just don't have the room. I don't know how he made the room for it. I'm probably not playing DDV or some random stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, card's really good though. Uh, Triple Raiko seems God. a little bit standard for this deck because it's not affected by uh, Dark World deal. Uh, <laughs> dark <laughs> Shadow of Prison Mirror. I can't talk. I'm still not awake yet. <clears throat> Uh, it's not affected by Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, and it kills the uh, the D Fisher and Macro Cosmos before you mill. So it's like bringing in six MSTs, and it makes Shining in Pulse Miss Timing, which is really relevant. Uh, triple MST for the same exact reason. You just got to be able to deal with that stupid D Fisher. Like, you're not gonna sit there and lose the D Fisher and feel stupid. Double Light Imprisoning Mirror. I decided this card in actually. Twice all day because I kept playing against uh, Watts and like Agents. Agents are here as one of the two. I cannot remember. Um, this card is really good though. Um, I don't know if I'm going to side it for the next regionals slash YCS that we go to. Um, it was pretty much a last minute thing. I told him to stop leeching the light. I did not agree with leeching the light because <laughs> like I need cards that are going to deal with the whole game. Uh, the game in itself, like because especially with like against Watts, he uh, his one guy, it's a thousand beater. Uh, I can't attack anyway. Whereas this, like he's not gonna be searching off his uh, what uh, what Hopper, I think it is Cobra. Cobra is a Cobra. Uh, he can't search off his Cobra with this active. He can still attack directly, which is stupid, but uh, makes sense. Yeah. Really bad, but. Uh, Double goes in match for one Nips, Thunder Rabbit. The obvious, you know what the fuck it does. Um, Radicator. Probably gonna try to fit this card into the main because it was just so good all day long. Um, I ended up playing against uh, Burn round seven and he uh, turned uh, turn two, uh, game two. I ended up DDV uh, Eradicatoring him and then Mind Christian gets Lava Golem. And he scooped. 
So, like, this card is really good in the mirror, too, when you have to take out your DDBs. Like, you uh, eradicated them for spells, and they have absolutely no way to beat you in the mirror. <coughs> and, uh, really good against heroes and stuff like that. They're just really reliant on trying to, uh, on their spells to try to get any advantage on you anyway, which is just not going to work anyway. That's about it. All right, that's his deck profile. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, I'll have a lot more content coming up. But, yeah, peace.